Hello! Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Katie and I mostly do subscription box stuff here but definitely some other things so check out some other videos to see if this is your spot to hang. If it is, welcome. Thanks for being here. If not, also totally cool. Today I have something kind of fun, at least for me. I'm going to be talking about eyeshadow sticks. So ColourPop with their Limoncello collection, which I don't even think is their most recent collection at this point. Definitely not. I think there have been at least two others or something. It's wild. But with their Limoncello collection, they released a new type of product. Eyeshadow sticks, as you may have surmised. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to compare them to another favorite eyeshadow stick brand at a similar price point, the e.l.f. eyeshadow sticks. There are definitely other eyeshadow stick brands out there. It goes all the way up to Made by Terry, like you're paying $50 a pop or something. So there's a, there's a gamut of prices with these types of products. Urban Decay makes a pretty good one, but I think it's like $20. So it, you can spend however much you want on something like this. But I thought I'd compare it with e.l.f. because they are similar price points, similar you know, drugstore-ish companies, and, you know, that way you can step into this type of product without committing to something super pricey, if you've never used these before. I will be including swatches in this video, I'll include a timestamp down below, I'll try to bookmark it if you just want to see swatches. I have three ColourPop colors, and then one, two, three, four, five e.l.f. colors. I will also be including, at the end of this video, little, three quick little eye looks with these products. So that way, if you've never used these before, you can kind of see what I do with them, different ideas, that type of stuff. I'll also put a timestamp for that. So, with me physically adjusted and that all out of the way, let's talk about the actual products, right? That's what we're here for. So, I'll start with the ColourPop ones. I'll let you know what I've got here. These are what they look like. I have three colors. They currently have four. I have... Check Please, which is a kind of brownie terracotta color. I have Citrus Squeeze, which is a bright metallic yellow. And then I have Style and Ease, which is a matte dark blue. For Elf, I have here a lot of colors. I've got uh, do, 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 Midnight Sapphire, which is a shimmery dark blue. I've got Rose Gold, which is a light more gold than rose, if I'm being honest. It's here. I've got Magnetic Pull, which is an all-time fave for a single shade, like a single color look. So it's like a like a, a cool metallic, but it's not quite silver. It's like a taupey metallic. It's beautiful. I've got straight up copper, which looks orange on the tube, but it's not. It's like more bronze. Yeah, copper chic specifically. This is bronze, but you know. What are you going to do? And then from the Mint Melt collection, I have Mint For You, which is a, a matte creamy mint color. So those are the colors I've got today. I'm not going to be using all of them, but just so you know about them. And that's what we're going to be comparing. First up, ColourPop. Six dollars a piece, you get 0.65 grams of product. So they're kind of tiny. This is how big they are. Elf is five dollars a piece, and you get 1.6 grams of product. So almost a whole gram more. Here's the size difference. Look at the bottom for circumference or radius or diameter difference, you know, whatever measurement you're looking for. So there's a huge difference in price per gram, but if you're just paying for an item, that's where it is. In terms of actually using them, color pops in general, especially for the mattes, are way tackier, way less emollient, way less likely to blend out or to move at all. So if you're more interested in doing precise defined looks, you don't really care about blending out the edges like you want to draw a shape on your eye. I think ColourPops work way better in that application. The exception is Citrus Squeeze, the metallic yellow. That does blend out quite nicely. So that's what you've got there. Else, way more emollient, way creamier. So they're easier to blend out. They're easier to put a wash, more subtle, like 
of color on the eye, e.l.f. way easier to do that. On the flip side of those qualities, ColourPop is way more likely to last a lot longer than e.l.f.s, especially if you're not using a primer or if you're not setting with powder or things like that. I typically, when I reach for these types of products, I'm not that interested in using eye primer. I'm not that interested in setting with a powder. I want this to be quick and easy, like I have two seconds to look just that much better. You know, just please a fraction better than what's going on right now. So I'm not usually wanting to add extra steps. So if you're using the ColourPop, especially this is what's coming to mind here, you, you're going to have to set with a powder if you want any type of longevity. The metallics, especially if you blend them out, it's less important, but if you're using that matte or the other mattes from e.l.f., a powder might be nice. So not necessary with the ColourPop in my finding. Those will last eight hours easy without any budging or moving around. On the, you know, so keep that in mind. ColourPop, way, way less emollient, way draggier and way more likely to stay longer. Elf, smoother, more comfortable to put on, honestly. They swipe on so easy, the elf ones just whoosh, like grease across the eye, but with that comes creasing. That's what it is. In terms of colors, things like that, I think the elf colors are just generally a little bit more approachable. The outside packaging, not true at all to what's inside is what I've, I've found. Look and see, if, before buying, look and see if you can buy swatches. Or if you buy. Please don't buy people swatching. Find a video of swatches just so you can see what they actually look like. But since they blend out easy, it's nice, it's easy to create it like a sheer situation so the color is a little bit less important, if that makes sense. I, just kind of like a full coverage foundation you want to match better in a tinted moisturizer is maybe not so important. Similar with these e.l.f., you're blending it out, so it's just gonna be kind of like shiny. Color pops. Colors, I think, have been generally very true to the packaging. My only kind of like bummer is this blue. And it's not that it's not true to the packaging, and you'll see like more official swatches later. You know that that's not the same, it is the same. But for some reason when I put it on my skin, it just ends up turning kind of like bruise gray. So I've not really been happy with this blue. It also doesn't blend out like really at all. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I blended it and there's nothing and now it's just like an ugly smudge. Whereas with the Citrus Squeeze, which I think is a beautiful color, also not untrue to the outside, but I think it just looks better on me. Right. When I blend that out, you see like it stays and it's just kind of like blended out. It's not an ugly yellow smudge, it's just a blended yellow. So that blue was kind of a disappointment. I recommend highly this metallic yellow and I also recommend highly. Check please. It's a, especially if you're into more warm toned browns, it's just, it's, it's beautiful on the eye. It's almost a bronzy, like not bronzy as in like the color bronze and there it is blended out you can see what i mean it's like it sticks a little bit but bronze isn't like a bronzer you'd use on your face it's great for adding a little bit of warmth they work very well together that's what i'm wearing right now this is also a look that i'll include at the end of the video just so you can see it but they work great together so those are the two colors the one i don't have is cool breeze which is i think just like a light light gold um and I felt like I had it a million times over, so I just didn't get it. But you can go check it out. For e.l.f., I like almost every single color I have from them. The only one I don't like is, funnily enough, the blue. I guess maybe dark blue eyeshadow just isn't something I like. Here it is next to the ColourPop one. So not dissimilar, so I basically just duped myself. Um, but you can see the difference, and it's smudged out, right? So Elf's is just way more likely to create a wash rather than just stick. But same issue I have with the other blue. It just kind of like ends up looking like I have a black eye. It's, my, it's just me, how I use it. Colors I really, really love are this copper. I think is wonderful for a one color look without it just being a wash of color on your eye. Again, I will show a look, but I really like putting this just on the outer and inner corners and blending out to add depth. Just make my eye not look so flat and 
like lost in my face. This color is great for that. It's almost like a contour stick, but shimmery for your eyeball. Really, really enjoy it. Another two favorites are these two, the Magnetic Pole and the Rose Gold, depending on what skin tone you have and what your undertones are. Both of these are beautiful just eye brighteners, right? They blend in with the skin really, really well, especially if you pat it out. So putting just a dot on your inner corner and then a wash right in the middle of your lid to add some brightness. Both of these colors are great for that and I'm sure the other lighter metallics or medium metallics and not super, super dark metallics would be great for a brightening effect on your eye, just depending on what your general vibe is and how you want to match to your undertone and skin tone. So I really, really like the e.l.f. sticks for that. The mint melt one, this matte one, is like just a bright freaking green, right? So it's you. You've got to just pick your battles with <laughs> with that. I do like it for bold geometric looks, which is what I'm going to be showing you today. So there it is. It does blend out really nice. Okay, it's almost gone. So you could, if you just want to feel just a tiny bit green, you could do that all over. So the, those are my colors. I think Elf is kind of hard to go wrong. If you're into blue eyeshadow, do these. I am into blue eyeshadow, but these just don't work for me. Some tips and tricks for using these in general. These are my experience with eyeshadow sticks across the board, and it applies to both the e.l.f. and ColourPop ones, at the bottom of them, both brands, they have a little sharpener. This one's been used, as you can see. So if you want to sharpen these, get a really, really sharp point. I'll show you the ColourPops are a little harder to get up. If you want to sharpen these to a really, really fine point, it will be hard to keep that point, but if that's what you want, pop it in the fridge or the freezer for 5-10 minutes. Same trick with really, really creamy eyeliners. Popping it in some cooling situation makes it really that much easier to get a really fine point. Again, how long will you keep it with these products? Are you going to be putting a frozen product on your eye? Probably not, but they won't stay for long. So, but you can, you can sharpen them. That being said, about the fine points, if you are not getting the precision you need from a product like this, and it is kind of hard to do, brush. A little, little tiny brush. You can swipe it on the eyeshadow stick itself or you know, no product waste. When you sharpen, some usually sticks behind. It's almost like a little pot of color. Dipping your brush, like just right in there. You can just swipe it on with the brush now. And you can use that to get a really, really fine point. So if you're digging these colors but want like a, a nice sharp eyeliner look with them, Sharpen them a little or swipe directly onto the stick with a little brush. You can get you can get pretty precise that way. What you can also do is dip your brush in your concealer or your foundation, or if you aren't wearing any of those, some makeup remover, and use the brush to clean up. It's same with a Q-tip, stuff like that. Those work really well, especially if they haven't dried down yet. It's really easy to clean up and get sharp lines by removing instead of adding, if that makes sense. So those are my little tips for using eyeshadow sticks. Bringing in a brush can get you really far with them. So hopefully that was helpful to you. And with that uh, all out there, let me show you some swatches of the colors just so you can see what they look like. All right, I hope those swatches were helpful. Let me know if you have a favorite, right? Um, so those are the swatches. That's my spiel about eyeshadow sticks. Let me show you some common looks that I do with these. Some of my go-tos, I need to get out the door in 
honestly like it's like three five and maybe ten minute looks and you can see if these are something that you might vibe with all right so i'm going to be starting with the mint for you eyeshadow stick from the mint melt collection this is the only matte one i'm showing today from elf so you can kind of get a sense for what their matte ones look like even though it's matte and not metallic it's still really emollient and glides on really smooth so don't poke your eye so as you can see, I'm just drawing a shape that I like, that I think looks good, nothing crazy, nothing innovative, just filling it in and making the shape that I want. Okay, now that I'm happy, I'm going to repeat this shape on the other eye. Now that that's done, I'm going to use the leftover from the sharpener and this brush to refine the edges of both eyes a little bit, make it a little bit cleaner. Now I'm going to set with that mint green color from the Child palette from ColourPop. This step totally isn't necessary, but does help give the shadow a little bit more lasting powder. You can use any color for this, the experiment, layer, whatever you want. I think that this also looks really good with a shimmery kind of topper shade. It gives a little bit of a sheen. You can use whatever you want here. I'm going in with this mint color on the waterline from ColourPop, and that's the look. I'm going to start the second look with the Copper Chic eyeshadow stick from e.l.f. I'm going to be placing this on the outer corner of my eye in generally a triangle shape. This can be messy and not super precise because we're going to be blending it out later. You can see what I'm going for here, and then I immediately blend it out. As you can see, these shadows blend out really easily, so if you're worried about making a mistake or something, don't be. If you do something you don't like, you can soften it up really easy, you can erase it really easy. I'm repeating that same process, but in the inner corner, just drawing a shape that I think fits my eyes well. If it does, I don't know. And then we're going to be blending it out as well. And then we're just repeating that same process again. You can stop at any point. It's a matter of how deep you want the look to be, about how much color pigment you want there. But same thing, placing it down in a triangle shape on the outer corner and blending out. And then I'm going to be putting it on the inner corner and blending out. Again, you can do this as much or as little as you want. It depends on how dramatic you want the look to be. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye. You can stop here, looks great, right? But I'm going to be adding a little bit of this rose gold color, also from e.l.f., just for a little bit of brightness, a little bit of extra shiny. Again, wherever you wanna stop in this process is totally fine. But I really do like this rose gold color on top of the copper and by itself, a little drop in the inner corner, just kind of as an illuminator. It really brightens up the eye without being too crazy. All right, there it is on both eyes. If you're feeling like it, you can take the copper color and drag it along the lower lash. Again, totally not required, but I think it adds a little bit of depth. And then finally, this nude color on the waterline, and there you go. All right, for this third look, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Shadow Sticks, starting out with Check Please in the outer corner of my eye. I'm going in a little bit messy, just like I did with the second look, but I've got to work a lot harder to blend it out here. You can see it just doesn't blend quite as well. It's a little stickier, but if you work hard at it and use the heat of your finger, you can get a pretty wash. Then I'm going in on the inner corner. I'm being a little bit more precise here because I want that line that's closer to the bridge of my nose and not connected to the actual lid of my eye to stay precise. I'm just going to be blending the inner part as you can see here. Sharpening up that line again because I want it to be precise for this look. Now I'm using the leftover from sharpening in that brush just like with the first look and I'm kind of creating a liner with this color just on the outer half of my eye. 
I'm also eventually going to drop that down below the lash line as well for some depth. Now to repeat on the other eye. There we go. You can stop here, but I'm going to be using Citrus Squeeze, that metallic yellow, to add a little bit of color and shiny to the lid because I cannot help myself. So just popping it on, blending it out a little bit, but not too much. Now on both eyes, going back in with the brush just to clean up that liner where I was a little too messy with the yellow shade. And then popping the yellow in the inner corners for some inner corner brightening and to kind of bring that yellow to a different part of the look. To finish up this look, I'm adding this yellow to the bottom waterline and then there you go, done. Okay, so those are the looks. This is the last one I did. You can kind of see how it's worn a little bit. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have a favorite eyeshadow stick brand because I'm always looking for more. These are products I really, really like. I think they're going to be great going into summer when I think people will generally get a little bit more casual, a little bit more relaxed because it's just too hot to care that much about a full face of makeup. Let me know if you have a color that stuck out to you because, you know, I like any colors. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Thank you for stopping by. Check back in on Sundays and Wednesdays generally. A little less so lately, but check back in and keep hanging out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you feel like it. Give this video a like if you feel like it. And have a good one.